Hi everyone, this is a quick video that I'm doing here um, trying to uh, figure a better way to test the uh, circuit and what I've done is I've put a 22 ohm resistor uh, there in series on the uh, MOSFET uh, negative uh, switching side and um, I put as well the same identical uh, 22 ohm uh, resistor on the recirculating side here of the collapsing uh, field so the idea here is that if we have the same resistance uh, at the input then we have at the output side um, it makes it more interesting because we've got two identical uh, resistance and obviously if the energy that's going in the circuit has to travel through the 22 ohms uh, you would think that it would leave a residual heat here and uh, you know limit the amount of heat that we can actually accumulate on the output that's the logic you know it's very difficult to measure these pulse circuits and um, I know uh, it's not going to be easy to satisfy everyone but this is one small quick attempt to doing this and right now the circuit is uh, operating and the magnet is levitating and here's the uh, marker that I had uh, yesterday uh, the previous video number three and um, today the magnet is higher but that's because we only have 22 ohms instead of the two 22 ohms in series which would have been a total of 44 ohms here alright so that's why the magnet is higher and um, this is the uh, scope shot right now and um, right now the probe is on uh, let's have a look here the probe is on times one and let me verify here that it is yeah the probe is correctly on times one and we're at a two volt um, setting here and what we have is the same frequency as yesterday 660 uh, Hertz range about 665 maybe 666 maybe <laughs> anyways our uh, peak to peak is 11.63 uh, our RMS that this software is capable of measuring is uh, just under 3 volts um, I wouldn't uh, bet uh, a lot of money that that is an accurate RMS. You could look at the uh, form itself. I'll post it on the uh, on the uh, topic, and uh, you can analyze it and did you know determine what uh, you believe it really is. Uh, the duty cycle is eight percent again, like yesterday, and the, the period is one point five uh, microseconds and this is again what it looks like and I will post it on the uh, topic as well and you'll be able to see all these parameters and uh, let's take a temperature reading here and first we'll uh, hit the MOSFET uh, heatsink and sorry about that maybe that's a little too close here Alright, the MOSFET is not significant at all. Uh, I think 29 was about the highest I could get off the uh, MOSFET. So there you go. Uh, sorry about the light here, 28.3. And let's take a reading on that uh, resistor. So about that, 34.5 is about the highest on the 22 ohm uh, input resistor. And now let's take a reading off the uh, output uh, resistor here. So 
Okay, so we got about 109.4 uh, at the output resistor. So it's really interesting, you know, to see. I mean, I can't touch that. That's higher than boiling water uh, temperature. Uh, to see such heat there and so little heat there with the values being the same. It's really mind-boggling, you know, to see that kind of thing. And, and then, well, it just, we just don't have heat happening here. We've got, you know, a pound of magnet uh, here being pushed up in the air, you know. And that's, uh, at that point there, I think that's about, well, three-eighths of an inch uh, off the uh, surface of the top of the plastic here, of the black plastic. So, you know, we can make a motor turn, we can create heat, and I don't know, it just seems like there's not much input energy. Uh, you know, if I'm sure if I put DC in here, uh, the DC is going to be, you know, heating up that resistor. There's no way you can have this resistance here and, you know, it not heating that one up there. So, you know, that's, it's really interesting. Yeah, it's obvious that this circuit is uh, functioning at a much more efficient level with these short pulses, you know, and um, outputting a really good amount of heat and, you know, work. A motor can turn off of that. So, you know, you could have a uh, motor making uh, electricity from uh, Thane Hines' uh, coils and uh, you could have uh, water being heated by the uh, resistors here. So anyways, uh, <laughs> let's keep uh, talking about this and I would like the, uh, you know, experts to give me an idea of, you know, how to set this up to, uh, to satisfy you. You know, because I've been thinking about it and it's, it's really difficult, you know, to do this. So anyways, I'll post this and uh, let's see what happens. Bye now.